Whether you need to carry a lot, enjoy the convenience it provides or simply love them, few other cars can compare to the capabilities of a pickup. One brand in particular has been hauling as early as 1968. It seems Toyota has been making pickups for as long as some people can remember. And in this episode, we add another one to the roaster. For the test drive, we turn to our correspondent on the road. How's the new pickup slide? Hey Butch, it's going great so far. I've got the Toyota Hilux and I'm driving it around to see if it's up to the job. Toyota's top truck continues to appeal to customers in both private and commercial levels. Just recently, it updated its look to keep up with the times. For 2012, the Hilux retains much of its shape, but gains presence care of its new updates. It starts with the front where they're best appreciated as a whole. A new grille stretches across the facade. A redesigned bumper mirrors its new shape. New multi-reflector headlights sit on either side. Together, they make the pickup look more like its big brother, the Land Cruiser. Up on the hood is a new wider hood scoop. Over in the roof is a new aerial style antenna. On either side of the cabin, new side mirrors house turn signals. The rest of the truck remains unchanged with a large cabin for passengers. Massive wheel arches and a huge bed to load equipment. Now over here at the rear we still have some of the familiar components of the Hilux. We've got the center mounted handle and the tailgate mounted top lamp for better visibility even when there's load. The new jewel effect tail lights sit on either side of the bed. At the bottom is the chrome bumper with a tough upper lining and stays as sturdy as before. Hauling it all is still Toyota's trusty D4D turbo diesel engine. This produces some 163 PS at 3,400 RPM and 343 Newton meters of torque at 1,400. It's paired with a gate type automatic that you'll find between the seats. Power goes to either the rear or all four wheels. All it takes is a shift on the 4x4 stick that you'll find right beside. Keeping the car aloft over bumps is a sturdy set of double wishbones with coil springs in front and a rigid axle leaf spring in the rear. Bringing the truck to a stop is a set of discs in front and drum brakes in the rear. With all of the exterior covered, we now bring you inside the vehicle. The interior keeps much of its original design. Three binacles house a speedometer, tachometer, and temp and fuel gauges. Over in the center stack, a multi-information display crowns the top, showing time, direction, and ambient temperature. Below, you'll find the stereo system, now with a touchscreen and DVD entertainment. This new stereo can still play CDs and is compatible with MP3 players, spy, and auxiliary input. Sound is routed through six speakers, and to keep the driver's hands on the wheel, the unit now includes steering wheel mounted controls. Throughout the interior, there's still a large number of storage spaces. Two glove boxes, side compartments with bottle holders, and two under seat trays leave a lot of room for items. For safety, both driver and passenger are protected by dual SRS airbags. Three-point safety belt and a lap belt keep all the passengers in their seats. Overall, the new Hilux has many features that will be familiar to some. The new additions certainly make it more noticeable, and for those inside, more comfortable. Thankfully, none of the changes have affected the Hilux's durability and ability.
Whether it's for utility, emergency, or simple getting through the most unforgiving conditions, the Hilux is up for the task. And that wraps up our review of the Toyota Hilux. It's refreshed for the new year and harder to miss this time around. Thanks, Light. That's a lot told about a new Hilux. What a pick.